What is up guys, Loki here, back at it again with another YouTube video. Today we're gonna be talking about Arlequino. 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 Now we're gonna be talking about Boot Hill. The newest revealed character in Honkai Star Rail. Why the hell does this man look like Arlequino? Like, look at their hair, bro. On the fucking, I guess that's technically the right side. It's the same thing, dude. Look at, look at my thumbnail. Look at this thing, bro. Bro, they didn't even try to hide it. <laughs> I don't know if this is like the Star Rail dev team poking fun at Genshin, or. Like, I just, I, I don't understand. I gotta see these comments, bro. Hold on. Eo says he loves the T in his name, the blood slash. You can, okay. Ruby's just unhinged. How do I not follow Ruby? No, I recommend everyone follow Ruby. She's just hilarious. Ty Yo, sip, sip, Stefan, you gotta calm down. My name is Ix, but you can call me Nick. I would love to get to know you better. I am friends with both Lene and Lynette. <laughs> For Lynette doesn't talk much, and have you heard one? And have heard wonderful things about you. All right, look at Numi. Oh, Numi's Numi's just losing it, bro. New oh my God, everyone's losing it, bro. What the hell is happening right now? Anyways, um, he looks really cool. I think the character looks really cool. He's got the revolver. He's got the whip. He's a cyborg, very cool character. He seems a bit more unhinged because we will read this in a moment, but he's part of the Galaxy Rangers. And when I think of the Galaxy Rangers, I guess they all have different personalities, right? Um, he seems more unhinged, whereas Acheron's a bit more like reserved, but she'll fuck you up type shit. Um, but this guy's interesting, right? He's physical hunt. It scares me a little bit. This Honkai Star Rail, unless some things change enemy wise. Can't let me see. I'm trying to think of like what the next MOC is going to be. That would be leaks. So can't talk too much about that. But we know from the previous MOCs that a lot of them are very like AOE oriented. They're very AOE oriented, right? This is where your Jing Liu's shine, your blades. Zila doesn't see much time in MOC. You can use her, but you're not going to get the fastest clear because she cannot one shot mobs, right? Um, and that's her biggest issue as a hunt path character. And it seems like hunt paths besides like topaz she doesn't really count because she's deals with follow-up attacks that's where most of her damage comes from even though she's hunt for some reason um we know most hunt characters like yan ching are very single target oriented and with this game being so aoe focused i worry but i have a lot of faith in the hsr dev team that maybe this will change uh, one thing I think of when I see this revolver, um, and not the whip so much. I'm not really sure. I like. I, I imagine he's gonna have some very cool animations. He's part of the Galaxy Rangers, and by now everyone's seen Acheron's animations, and her animations are crazy. So I imagine his his animations are gonna be insane. Um, but going back to the revolver, right? So like, what if? There's a game I used to play a long time ago called Destiny. Uh, fuck Destiny 2, that game's ass, but the original Destiny, there were three big hand cannons. Well, two big hand cannons. It was Ias Luna and the Palindrome. Um, Hawk Moon also had this, but it that gun just didn't feel as good. But there was a perk that you really wanted on those hand cannons called Luck in the Chamber. And one of your bullets would do a shit ton of damage. Most hand cannon or every hand cannon in that game during the 
upper echelon to the hand cannon's life cycles it was like it was like two head one body or you know three triple headshot kill but if you hit that luck in the chamber bullet which had made a very distinct sound you could two tap somebody um I imagine he's gonna have some type of perk with his gun. I don't know if it's gonna be necessarily like a luck in the chamber type thing. I hope it's not too much RNG. It is a gotcha game though, so you never really know. But he's gonna have to have his own advance forward regardless of if he one shots the enemy or not. This is where he's gonna have to power creep Zila. We're like, maybe they base it off of a percentage of damage you do to the enemy that allows him to go again um i know that kind of just shits on ziva and it, it's probably going to push her down a tier if he does that but again he's physical so it wouldn't be too bad but he him being a hunt path character he really has a lot um against him right but i love the design here this design is actually really cool um, he's got, the, he's got the sharp teeth. The cyborg. He's got the piercings. Got the bullet for the eye and a bullet hole for the dot. That shit is crazy. That goes so hard. Um, but let's just read this. Extraterrestrial satellite communication boot hill. So here's the thing. Someone went and tinkered with my Synthesia beacon. So now all you folks can hear is me and those adorable little troublemakers talking like this. Cutie, cutie, cutie. Looky here, see? A, a cyborg cowboy drifting among the stars. Extremely optimistic and unrestrained. See, this is where that unhingedness comes from. He is a member of the Galaxy Rangers who swore to punish the wretched by any and all means. His flamboyant and brash actions were all to draw the attention of the IPC the target for his revenge at some point because if you remember in the story adventuring invited topaz to inakoni so i could see a showdown with topaz adventuring and boot hill and that that's just going to be absolute fire that's going to be insane but like I said, I skipped Argenti. A lot of people skipped Argenti, I'm sure. Uh, I, I know a lot of my friends specifically skipped Argenti. Um, although I, you know, I do, I got Clara, sure, but I do kind of regret it for pure fiction, but I can't pull every character. Ain't got it like that. One of these days, maybe if I get in the content creator server, they'll throw me something. I don't know, bro. I don't know. I can't freaking pull for every character. But <clears throat> I do need a physical character for pure fiction. He, he needs to have some type of action advancement himself. And that needs to be amplified by, let's say, pairing him with a... Because he's Hunt, right? Hunt characters use crit rate, crit damage, typically. Unless something miraculously changes. So I did end up pulling Sparkle on accident i don't know if i told you guys that we ended up we ended up pulling sparkle on accident i really just wanted hanya constellations because i was enjoying i was enjoying um running dill with hanya and then i ended up pulling sparkle at like eight i think it was like eight but like we lost the 50 50 to bailu so i was like okay i'm set up for like acheron or uh topaz after that after her banner and then we ended up pulling Sparkle at like 10 <laughs> or like eight. So I don't regret it though, cause I do have Dill. She enables my mono quantum to hit like never before. Like I, I ended up getting E6 QQ. Insane, right? And I, I'm a big simulated universe fan. So I do love running propagation QQ. You guys know that if you watch my previous videos, propagation QQ, um, and now Sparkle just makes that better. But let's say he advances himself. I, I know it's a really long tangent, but let's say he advances himself, right? And then you have Sparkle to advance him again. That's going to be a disgusting team. I'm not really sure how this guy's kit is going to work, but th they are going to have to improve upon 
what they did with Zila or just the hunt path in general because hunt path being single target is not good right now it is not good with this game being so aoe focused but let me know what you guys think in the comment section um live stream this friday maybe we'll stream it maybe we'll just like uh, make a synopsis for you guys but i'll catch you on the next video have a good rest of your day peace